Um, I'm near Paris, uh, Maison Lafitte. <laughs> Ah, okay. Well, yeah, they, uh, it's like, a very nice weather. Huh? You're lucky. Huh? Like, yeah, nice I weather. I think we that in the south of France. But are you really, is it really uh, the background? Is it really where you are or it's a, it's a fake background? Because it looks very dramatic. nice. Hello? That's where you are now? No, no, no. It, it's a real black. Yeah, yeah, it's a real background. It's, yeah, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's, it's very good. <laughs> no, you have to think that it's uh, way in the, in the summer. Because I know that you come from Nice, so maybe you were in Nice. So, uh, but Ines, uh, very nice to, to talk to you today. Uh, the, the, the video is a bit blur. Uh, so very nice to talk to you, Ines. So tell me, uh, have you studied your, your, your studies at Sciences Po now or not yet? Yes, I started one month ago. Okay. So, so can you tell me what happened? What what happened this last month? Well, can you please share the experience with us? Sure, sure. Uh, but maybe first I can give a bit of background about this program. No, no, I, what, I, I what is. Yes, I will ask for a background about you, but I prefer that we start like this, okay? And you, you, you give us background about yourself, don't worry. Okay, okay. no, it was about the program, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, um, so, uh, yes, you can give a background about the program. So, yeah, it should be, yeah. yeah, so okay. I'm currently in a Master's in Finance and Strategy at Sciences Po. This is a two years program. Uh, this is for now all in French, but from next year it will change and it will be all, all in, in English. That's why you can interest uh, MBA Center students uh, because you don't need to be fluent in French. It will be all in English and you don't need a GMAT uh, to, to, uh, to get it. So there is different uh, program. There is one program in finance, one in strategy and one in international business. The first year, everyone has the same uh, set of classes and I will give you more information very soon to tell you what kind of classes I have and what I thought of it very soon but just to give you a background uh, so one year with common classes for everyone and the second year you choose a specialization either finance or either strategy strategy uh, like you get prepared to a strategy consulting uh, case and then um, and jobs uh, and also there is an, a, a third session which is international business and this section is in double degree uh, with you can do a double degree with either uh, saint galen bocconi uh, or university of pennsylvania so uh, there is those three uh, kind of uh, path you can choose uh, so i'm in the strategy uh, path so for now i'm having common classes with finance uh, people and international business uh, program people uh, and we have different uh, so um, this also another important information is that uh, you don't need to have academic pre prerequisites uh, to get it for example if you studied psychology philosophy before you can get it okay because um, we uh, this program is made and is thought to um, even if you're like a beginner in the business uh, side, you can uh, start over. That's why, but it will be very intense. So what, how was my month? Now I'm replying to, to your question. My month was quite intense. We had a lot of classes um, uh, and we have also um, professionals. So our teachers are mainly uh, operationals. Uh, for example, my teacher in um, analyst financière, financial analysis uh, was the chief uh, financial of officer of Carrefour and Darty, uh, so he's really busy. But he's coming after after his work day, uh, and we have class until sometimes uh, 9 p.m. Uh, uh, so it's it's quite intense, but it's uh, very interesting. So we have classes. Uh, so first we have fundamentals uh, in, uh, in like business. So we have um, accounting. We have ma uh, financial mathematics. Um, we have uh marketing um law so very general but what it's uh, also interesting in science po and what I, I really like about this school is the um, interdisciplinary approach uh so for example even if i'm in a financial or strategy uh program uh i and i am obliged to do it to have a formation common classes which is a classes from another school because if you know Sciences Po you know that Sciences Po uh, there's a lot of schools they are known in public policy uh, also in international relation uh, urbanism there's a lot of schools different schools in, in Sciences Po and what's very fascinating so even if you're in finance and strategy you can benefit from the knowledge uh, of the other schools and for example I took a class of anthropology because I love uh, I, I love this uh, understanding human history, humankind, etc. I also have a, a very fascinating classes that, that I choose in neuroscience 
to understand. So the, the course also uh, is about the art of persuasion. So th that that's also a very as a good asset of Sciences Po is that uh, you can benefit from other disciplines. Uh, so yeah, it was an intense month uh, with a lot of math, uh, a lot of um, calculation, a lot of uh, encounters. But I really like it, and I'm very happy to to be here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so then, Ines, uh, you you, uh, you will we'll see later on that you you come from a, from a, from a, from a graduate from Dauphin Dauphin University. Um, why you pick up Sciences Po? So you told me that, of course, one of the reasons is that they don't require the GMAT. I imagine that there are other reasons than the GMAT. Uh, so then. Yes, of course, this will be a facility answer, but this is not uh, my case. Um, I I had a, a real attachment for the school. I really like, love the values of the school and the interdisciplinary approach. Uh, at Dauphine, I didn't. I do a management um, like uh, bachelors, and so first reason is that now it's more precise because I'm in a finance and strategy program, and uh, I can see with the courses that it's getting more technical. But you can tell me to this that Dauphine has also finance, but I, at Dauphine I was not in the finance section; I was more broad. And with this section, uh, still, uh, what I really liked is that I have a very good quality and technical set of courses. And aside, I can take uh, more social science classes to to complete this. So that that was the first reason. Um, the other reason um, is the um, all the um, association and um, la richesse, the cultural um, aspect of Sciences Po. For example, every week you have a lot of conferences with high level attendees uh, for, from history. For example, if you like cinema, for example, two days ago, Vincent Lindon, it was the, the previous president du jury au Festival de Cannes, came to talk to us. Uh, so you have this really, um, you are constantly stimulated uh, if you are if you like culture, uh, art and history and etc. Et you have the opportunity to uh, to really get stimulated and um, and learn from other school and from students uh, that are not only studying business uh, like in business school but uh, that are fascinate, fascinating about very different subjects uh, so this is why I, I, I choose Sciences Po and I'm very I feel lucky to to have been accepted yes of course well, you, you told us uh, about you. Maybe I, I need to, to understand something else because before you, earlier this afternoon, we had uh, <coughs> a student called... Um, called... Uh, Melchior. Uh, Melchior, Melchior. Who, who came up. <laughs> Thank you, I mean, for, for, for that thing. And he told us about a typical day at, at, uh, at a London Business School. Uh, what, what is a... What is a... What is... Alors, tell me, what is a typical day at uh, Sciences Po? And what is a typical week at Sciences Po for people so that they understand the workload, uh, the campus life, uh, recruitment activities, them? Sure. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that in the first year, as I told you, there is a different program. And the first year, we are all together, but we are 160, which is a lot. And we are uh, separated between different uh, groups of 20 people. But the thing is, uh, you are not in the same group every time. You have to choose your classes, and you are with different set of people. So I think that can be a little, uh, maybe a weakness that I can identify, is that it's harder to maybe bond with people the first year, because it looks like university Setment because you are you know changing uh, your bodies all the time, um, but so what is a typical week? For example, uh, I start Monday um, at nine p.m. Uh, nine a.m. <laughs> nine a.m. Uh, so I have anthropology classes. Then um, so in my week I have uh, four uh, fundamental classes which are more mathematical. Uh, mat financial mathematics, um, analysis, financial anal analysis, accountability, uh, and those classes I have it uh, mainly uh, at night because it's given by teachers uh, that come after their work. So in my on my hand, for example, I have it from seven to nine, which is you know kind of late. Um, uh, but on the other hand, I have. Uh, for every student in Sciences Po, this is a very important for the school. They free you all your 
a Thursday afternoon. So you have time to do cultural activities and sports activity, which are really important for your uh, for the school. And they, they believe that it's important for you, for your balance to, to have it. So in, on my hand, I don't have class all Thursday, which gives me the time to get involved in association. Uh, so on my hand, I'm uh, in an association um, for Africa. Uh, so we organize conferences, but there is a lot of different associations. We have you have a started association, you have a debate association. So it's it's very complete. So you have the choice and the occasion to to engage. Uh, what can I tell more about my week? Um, yeah, basically I have fundamental classes. I have also slots to to study uh, to study. But the thing is, what you need to know also is that everyone doesn't have the same schedule because you choose your classes. For example, for even if there is a classes for everyone, okay, I'm sorry if not clear, I'm, I, I try to make it the more cle the clearer as possible. But for example, everyone has mathematics financier, financial mathematics, but there is different group with different teachers and you have to choose uh, what teacher and what slot you want. So you can, in a sense, you can fix your own schedule but you have to be very reactive because uh, before you register to the school, uh, like before the back to school, there is a slot uh, and you have two hours to like choose your, your courses and you must be very reactive to choose the, the class you want and to you know shape the schedule you want. But in the end, everyone will have the same classes, but with different uh, maybe teachers and, and time slot. And in the end, you will have the time to do your cultural activities, uh, social um, and associative activities. And also, uh, you really need time to, to study um, because we have uh, not only group projects, but a lot of individual um, calculation, uh, gallo midterms uh, that are now. Uh, so I'm currently uh, studying mid midterms. So yeah, I would say it's not the easy program. It, you have to work and it's they told us at the beginning uh it's a very serious program uh and so and i will end with this there is another thing you need to know is that um in sciences po you have one month almost one month and a half holiday in the middle of the year for example i finish my exam at uh, december 15 and my semester started starts at uh, january 21 so i have more than one month holiday which give you the time uh to to do a small internship, to do a lot of things, but entre, en contrepartie, uh, you you have very um, dense classes uh, before in this during the semester. Um, and a last information um, I will give: if there is some student that have that take times and have time to do a part-time internship um, aside from their classes. And the Sciences Po is very flexible for this, for this and very encourage you to, to have professional experience. So, for example, I have a friend uh, at uh, NG. So she, he, she's, um, aside from Sciences Po, she, she managed to schedule her, her, her schedule uh, in the way that she has uh, two entire day or, or three to go to NG and to do a part-time internship. Uh, so this is very do doable, yeah. And also a, a last important thing I want to do, Sciences Po is willing to this master finance and strategy uh, to connect you uh, with the Sciences Po network and uh, also to allow you to, to be prepared to your interview. And every week or every two weeks we have uh, companies coming uh, and in short group we have the opportunity to exchange. Um, so, for example, Barclay came, we will have Goldman Sachs, uh, BCG came. So, uh, this is very uh, a strength also uh, of this master and the association of the master really organized a lot of corporate events uh, for you to, you know, to know what you want to do uh, after. Yes, it's very good, very interesting. So maybe uh, Ines, if you can introduce yourself, okay? Because uh, maybe uh, it's good that our, that our guests know about you. Go ahead, Ines. <clears throat> yes, yes, sure. So my name is Ines. Um, I grew up in Nice, South of France, and then I, after a, uh, mathematics uh, back back baccalaureate i went to dauphin and i did um, a bachelor in uh, management like in social science uh, then i did a one year master's degree at dauphin in international management and um and then i did a gap year 
uh, and I had the opportunity to work at EY as a transformation consultant in the financial service. Uh, and then I decided to apply to, to Sciences Po instead of finishing my, my second year of Master in Dauphine. And, um, and I would like to start a career in strategy consulting uh, before maybe one day uh, being an entrepreneur. That's, that's the ultimate goal, is to create your own company. Huh? Yes. For that's now, the... for now, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, why have you decided to switch from Dauphine to Sciences Po? Because it's roughly the same in terms of perception. Or, or what attracted you more at Sciences Po that you could not find at Dauphine? Um, it's not, maybe in terms of perception, you feel it's the same because it's not a business school. I understand your perception because you are very used to business school, LSE, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but um, it's quite different. Uh, in Sciences Po, um, you have all history discipline, like other discipline that I can, for example, in the film, the conference that were organized were more around economy. While in Sciences Po, you have also philosophical. So if you are curious in different, even if my main uh, career goal is about business, uh, I'm very, I'm curious and I want to, to get more information about other fields. And this uh, Sciences Po allows me to eat uh, with the different schools they have. Um, but just, Dauphine was a very good school. Actually, if you want to apply to Dauphine, I will be very uh, glad to give you also information about my experience. Dauphine is uh, a very good school. But um, yeah, I feel Sciences Po is also when you uh, when you enter Sciences Po, I think you you are part of an history because this this school uh, this school was created after uh, um, in the Third Republic, and um, yeah, the, there is. You, you feel this this um, this history part, and also Sciences Po has a very strong network uh, that I feel is stronger than Dauphine one, uh, if I have to compare. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I'm very happy to to be in Sciences Po right now. Okay, so so basically, from what I understand, what what you like about Sciences Po, it's this history, the intercultural approach. Uh, because basically after that, uh, in terms of job search... Yeah, it's, it's the same. In term, I, I think if you do a business school uh, for the Master Finance and Strategy, I'm not talking for other Masters, for the Master Finance and Strategy, if you do HEC or other business school, it will be the same. You will have a, you know, the, a lot of my classmates wants to do M&A, some wants to be an entrepreneur, it's the same. But uh, you, you don't have the same experience. Uh, and I feel it makes you, you know, a different human being. Uh, because you are confronted to other perspectives, uh, but I'm not, you know, making hierarchy between things. It's just a choice, and I really like this uh, intercultural approach of Sciences Po. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. That's, uh, that's basically um, uh, what you want. Alors, basically, you, you told me. Remember when we decided to work together? You told me uh, I want to go to Sciences Po because I, I'm also fond of philosophy. So. So can you tell us what you interest for philosophy? Uh, um, but my interest. If you remember, huh? Um, I don't remember. I, I, it, um, in philosophy, I like um, ancient Greek philosophy. Yeah. So I'm kind of classical in this, but I'm not an expert at all, and I didn't. Ha I don't have a philosophy class right now in Sciences Po. I will take one in the second semester in formation commute, but for now. Um, yeah, I, I like ancient Greek philosophy, uh, Stoicism, Aristotle, and kind of classic. Um, I don't know if you have another precise answer, but yeah, it's just personal um, interest. But I'm not, I didn't do philosophy before uh, at Bachelor or stuff, but... Yeah, but that's that's something that you, you, you found. By the way, uh, for information, I don't know if you saw one of my posts. I don't, when I was at Sciences Po, we had a class with uh, Pascal Bruckner. That you mm -hmm. know. I don't know if he's still uh, teaching at Sciences Po. I don't think so. I don't think that he's teaching at Sciences Po. I don't know. We, yeah. we can check. We can have uh, philosophers who teach you in a, in a business school. The same applies, by the way, to HEC. Uh, for our Indian students, they also have to know that you can study uh, business in France and have philosophy, uh, history classes uh, in, in your uh, business school. Um, <clears throat> so, Demi Ines, uh, you mentioned that you, you want to, to work. Uh, American consulting. Uh, we have met through someone who is now working uh, for for Bain. 
uh, you, have, you have the thing that uh, Sciences Po is, is, uh, is the right place to, to start a career, to jumpstart a career in management consulting? So first, I don't think there is a right place and I don't think there is a linear way to do... Um, okay. Yes, um, there is a thing that this kind of uh, the big firms, consultant firms, are quite selective, which uh, and they they have their tar target school, of course. And Sciences Po Master Finance and Strategy is part of their target school. Uh, we have Mike Kinsey BHG coming, and yeah, Sciences Po uh, is part of the target school. But in general sense, I don't think you have to do a linear or uh, right way and Sciences Po and not another place to to do what you want. Um, it depends on how you present your experience, how you understand the world and um uh, but what i can say is that uh science po is allowing us to have so for example we are very encouraged to to follow um, what's happening in the world uh, to stay curious and that are i think uh, strong points uh to understand the you know the variety and to have very multiplicity approach uh, of a mission so i think we are different from other uh, business school student in that way but uh, i don't think there is a way better than another uh, if you have a goal <laughs> you work for it uh, you you do your best uh, study the cases and yeah <laughs> but what i can say that yet uh, this master is part of the target school of uh, mckinsey bcg but it's still very competitive and we still everyone won't be uh, won't enter those firm uh, so you still need to to work and do your best so that's that's the, the best thing uh, to do uh, what would you say to to someone who wants to apply uh, to science po uh, what is what 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 was your secret okay uh, according to you or let's say according to you why did they take you okay and what type of student is Sciences Po looking for if they are looking for a specific type of student? Okay, so um, as I told you, for this master, you don't have to be to have any prerequisites. So you can either study literature before uh, engineering and enter. Uh, so they are looking for very uh, different type of profile. Um, and so, for example, in my cohort, uh, I have a student who did engineering school, student who did uh, law. Uh, like very different backgrounds, uh, students who study abroad, students who, who are all in France. Um, so they are looking for curious people. I think um, they're not, okay, for sure, there is this academic excellence that Sciences Po is looking for. Uh, but if you also have, um, if you show your curiosity uh, in a in professional experience uh, and you have a very concrete, coherent uh, professional project, uh you you have all your chances so yeah they're looking if i have to synthesize they're looking for curious people they can show also excellence and a dedication in what they are doing um and yeah open to the world so it there is also this international uh, aspect that is very important uh and yeah also f a certain form i will say of humility Humility is important, and the value of work, yeah, work, humility, curiosity, I would say are the most important values to consider. Yeah, to consider. So I remember that, uh, uh, yes, probably the, the most important part of the, of the application was the, uh, was the personal statement. Uh, remember, you spend time on it, and I think that you did something very good, uh, uh, Ines. Uh, so can you tell me, so I think it, it's a key thing, so people who want to apply to Sciences Po, you have to see that Sciences Po will not uh, consider the GMAT or, or the, the GRE, nor will they consider the IELTS or the TOEFL. And it's very important that you write a very good personal statement. So personal yeah, no, no, statement. IELTS, now you need the IELTS because the program yeah, will be okay. Yeah, but that's the same thing we need, so you need uh, probably a 7.5, 8. But the most important part of the application uh, beyond uh, transcript, uh, yes, obviously, and, and uh, your profile, is the personal statement. Huh? Yes. You agree? Uh, so it was the, the most important one. And remember that you spend a lot of time on it huh? to, to write a good one. And at the end, I believe that we cannot do uh, good results. Okay. And uh, there's something you never told me. Uh, what is the interview like now uh, at Sciences Po? How does it work? So you have a, uh, when, you're, when you're French uh, applicant, huh? 
you have an interview. So what, what is what is it like? Tell us. So it's a 20. Yeah. Yes. So it's I felt it was very short because it was it's 20 minutes interview. Uh, and uh, it was um, you have a responsible of pedagogical responsible of the master and a teacher that is related to uh, you know what you express in your in your interest and professional field for example if you express pro uh, green finance project you you can have a green finance teacher um, and uh, so my interview lasts 20 minutes and actually it's not um, it's very about you, about your motivations, uh, about your background. I didn't have um, tricky questions. Uh, actually, it's very bienveillant, I would say. Um, how to say in English, bienveillant. Um, yeah, they're not trying to, to trick you. It's, um, it's very to, to get to know you. Um, so yeah, I, I had to explain um, why I choose Sciences Po, um, what I want to do afterwards. So very, I had kind of, Basic question. I don't know if maybe it's a lucky factor. Maybe others have different questions, uh, but I feel um, as long as you are yourself and uh, you have a Korean project, uh, it will be fine. So it's only twenty minutes, and <coughs> exactly, no? it's a it's a good thing. And by the way, it's interesting because I myself a science school graduate, no? and. Uh, so I was the first day on earth when uh, Ines told me that she wanted to, to prepare Sciences Po. She was, by the way, the only student from India Center who had been accepted to Sciences Po last year. Okay, uh, And of course, for us, it's very difficult uh, because they don't have for the GMAT, so it's very difficult for us to really make a difference in, in the application. Uh, Ines, um, can you tell me now um, uh, what are the last pieces of advice that you would advise to someone who uh, wants to apply to, to Sciences Po, uh, what are the, the three most important things to, to do to succeed in the admission process? Yeah, um, I would say to really take your time to understand your, your generally your project and what, what you want, because they won't, you won't make a difference if you uh, make standard, uh, you know, personal statements and stuff. Really express uh, yourself, your your values, wh what you want to do, and how how um, your Sciences Po is made for you, and how you can collaborate and uh, and do great great thing. I would say <laughs> together. But also, what I really advise is to talk to a lot of um, Sciences Po students, a lot of alumni. If you are lucky to be uh, in Paris, uh, like uh, you, Sciences Po is organizing a lot of conferences every week and it's open to everyone. Uh, you just have to, to look on the website. Uh, you should register to some uh, and go. There is also some online uh, conferences and uh, also there is Journée Porte Ouverte in November. You can, you can also attend online and question um, and get to know more. So I really advise to get the maximum information you can uh, and to, so that you can be also very Personnel, uh, like uh, personalize, do a personalized application, uh, and show your your interest. Um, but uh, but yeah, it, even I, I talk about finance and, and strategy, but uh, this program is also open and for people who have a more entrepreneurial um, work project. If you want to be an entrepreneur, if you are interested also in startups world, uh, also. Uh, now, now the, the school is not called anymore School of Management and Innovation, but Management and Impact. So the sustainability um, perspective is, is very important. Uh, so yeah, I would say stay curious um, and don't be shy to, to express your differences and, uh, and yeah, to write a, a story about your, yourself and the future uh, with the school. Now to, to sum up uh, after um, Inet's uh, presentation, so we say that uh, basically, Sciences Po is a, is a school that stands out in the French uh, business school uh, landscape. Okay, uh, so basically, I would say that there are uh, five uh, five good ones. Okay, so there is HEC, ESSEC, ESCP, IEM Lyon, okay, and INSEAD somehow. Okay, so even though INSEAD doesn't have a bachelor, and then you have two schools that are originally universities. Okay, that are Dauphine and Sciences Po. And uh, so I would say that it belongs to the top seven best business schools uh, in, uh, 
in France. Of course, uh, Sciences Po is very different from uh, from the thing, for instance, at university, that it is a social science university. Uh, there is a school of journalism, there is a school of law, there is a school of international relations, uh, there is also a school in public policy. And I would say that, of course, the business school has never been, unfortunately, the most important part of uh, Sciences Po that is more known for uh, its uh, Uh, but ECOFI is kind of one of the, yeah. uh, my Master of Finance Strategy is the new version of ECOFI and ECOFI is still one of the historical programs in Sciences Po with public policy. So in that point, I don't really agree with you because the economic and business side uh, was very important and we have a lot of Sciences Po alumni. The, the PDG of Hermes today is a Sciences Po alumni. Um, there is a, I would say, there are also, even if yeah, Sciences Po is well known more in public policy and public okay. sector, There is still, they are still very present in the private sector. Um, no, what is true is that there is a, there is a report called the Schwarzer report that lists the top 50 most promising professionals who are under 40 years old. And of course, when you have a look at it, you see that uh, 75% of the of the uh, promising of German managers are Sciences Po graduate themselves. Whether they have studied with Sciences Po itself or Sciences Po is another type of degree, they chose that the approach that Sciences Po has of multicultural, I mean, of a multi, uh, multidisciplinary approach, okay, is a, is a very strong, uh, very strong bet and uh, basically uh, brings uh, good results, huh? okay. Uh, so myself, I think that's on school and I had a great time there. And uh, of course, there's also something else that you have to understand is that at the master level, uh, Your education will be um, in the center of Paris because we build the fifth district, uh, if I'm right. Uh, so is the Saint Thomas d'Aquin uh, campus open now? It's open. Yes, it's wonderful. And of course, it's a good one. Uh, so you have to see that, for instance, me, uh, I celebrated the 25th uh, year of my uh, of my uh, cohort in uh, 2017. And uh, the person who came to, to give a speech was uh, Edouard Philippe, because uh, he was a graduate the same, the same year, from 92. Uh, so, uh, and uh, of course, at the time, uh, what, to, what about Emmanuel Macron is also a soft school graduate. So what I want to say is that it's a school that has uh, a lot of very, very strong alumni, whether it be in politics, okay, uh, in the media, uh, in law, uh, business, And that's that's what makes uh, Sciences Po a bit unique. Is that when you, for instance, uh, study at HCC, the, the, the prominent alumni are all business uh, businessmen. But at Sciences Po, you have people who live in different sectors. You can have uh, uh, many journalists, uh, Sciences Po graduates, Sciences Po graduates, of course, many diplomats, Sciences Po graduates. So it gives um, a big uh, array. Uh, networking uh, opportunities to the school. Okay, so Ines, thank you very much. Huh? Uh, if people want to know more about Sciences Po, they, they can write to you? They can, they can write to you? Yeah, yeah, they can write to me. Uh, okay. I can write in the chat yeah. my yeah. my name. Yeah, I will give them the link in the chat. Huh? Okay, voilà. Yeah. So I wish you a good, a good uh, day. I will give them the link in the chat and you can always uh, invite them uh, to come to Uh, to to uh, to have a compass tour or something. Have a good day. Yes. Bye. Thank you.